If you're looking for a deal on smartwatches or wireless headphones, look no further than the description box. Go down there, click the link. I got you. What's good? What is up? It's your brother Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. Alright, so Quincy Jones recently sat down with Vulture for a real in-depth interview, real controversial interview. The 84-year-old Quincy Jones, legend in this game, producer, talent scout, composer extraordinaire, etc., etc. Definitely went on wax and said a lot of crazy shit about a lot, a lot of legendary people. One including legendary, legendary pop star Michael Jackson, where he had some not so nice things to say about Michael Jackson. We all know the story history of these two, Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones collaborating for one of the greatest albums of all time, Thriller and Bad, and then Michael Jackson kind of separating from Quincy. After hearing a lot of stuff, we all heard the history of Quincy Jones. Well, like I said, the 84 year old Jones was very outspoken when it came to Michael Jackson in the interview. I'll drop a little bit up top, read a little bit, and then I'll get my one too. And I need everyone to comment after this video is done, but let's start. You work with Michael Jackson more than anyone he wasn't related to. What's something people don't understand about him? And then Quincy went on to say, I hate to get into this publicly, but Michael stole a lot of stuff. He stole a lot of songs. Down the Summer State of Independence and Billie Jean, the notes don't lie, man. He was as Machiavellian as they come. So then the interviewer went on to say, how so? Greedy, man. Greedy. Don't stop till you get enough. Greg Philogains wrote the C-section. Michael should have gave him 10% of the song. Wouldn't do it. Damn. So then the interviewer went on to say, well, what about outside of music? What's misunderstood about Michael? I used to kill him about his plastic surgery, man. He always justified it and said it was because some disease he had. Bullshit. How were his problems wrapped up with fame? You mean with the way he looked? He had a problem with his looks because his father told him he was ugly and abused him. What do you expect? Then David Marchese, the gentleman who did the interview, went on to add, It's such a strange just attacks the position, how Michael's music was so joyous, but his life just seemed sadder and more odd as time goes by. Quincy Jones went on to add, Yes, but at the end, Michael's problem was propofol. And the problem affects everyone, doesn't matter if you're famous, Big Pharma makes Oxycontin and all that shit a serious thing. I was in the White House for eight years with the Clintons. I learned about how much influence Big Pharma has. It's no joke. What's your sign, man? Dude says Pisces. He says, me too, great sign. Wow. Okay, so he went in on a very different angle than how he could have on Michael Jackson. Let me first off say this. Do I believe what he said about him stealing music and about him doing the things that he does? No, I don't. But that's my straight opinion. I was not there. I have no idea. My personal opinion is he's full of shit when it comes to the things he says about Michael Jackson. All that being said, I'm going to be objective right now. And I'm going to simply say if he is telling the truth and if all of this is true, my statement is now why? Why would you come out and say this stuff now? Being that this gentleman is no longer alive. Michael's long gone and dead. We all know the history about how they tried to slander and tear his name apart time after time after time. And now all of a sudden... When the interview was just basically talking about you can basically just go on, on his work. You went and took it completely left and took it somewhere that it didn't have to go. That's just my opinion. Think of it what you will. But what I do find interesting is that 84, we all know the story history of Quincy Jones. His brother was real influential. Well, yeah, 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 that's cool. But we also know the shit that he was also known for and alleged on. And I don't know why the interview didn't ask him certain things. Like when he alluded to Richard Pryor and he alluded to Marlon Brandau doing whatever they did. I don't know if you heard that part of the interview, but I'll drop a card up shot right now. Because I did an interview, or excuse me, I did a video on it yesterday. And it turned a lot of heads, man. It's getting some good views. I appreciate it. Go check that video out now. But he went in on them too. He went in on the 70s. He said a lot of things. And it was a lot of things that he is alleged for and rumored for too. But they never asked him these things. So it seems as though he's airing out a lot of people's dirty laundry. Especially a lot of people who are no longer here. But he wasn't pressed on things that he was alleged for back in the day. And I wish that the interviewer, David Marchese, who did a great interview. I'm not trying to denounce him. Great interview. You were thrown off by a lot. I think you even alluded to that in an interview that a lot of your stuff was edited out because it was it was just too crazy to be dropped on the vulture. A lot of your stuff was PG-13, as you would put it. But in regards to Quincy Jones coming out about all these people now, I just wish that 
Hopefully, you come out and air out some of your dirty laundry since you aired out some of these people because it seems as though you're trying to cleanse your soul and wash away some things, some weird Hollywood shit that y'all are into. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. A Quincy Jones remarks about Michael Jackson. Like I said, in my opinion, it is false, but I wasn't there. I have no idea. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Also, you'll see in the description box links to our Twitter homepage and brand new website, hiphopun.com. Make sure you go check out those websites and join the movement. I sincerely appreciate it. Always trying to keep it raw, real, uncut for y'all. Until next time, until next story, this is Viral Hip Hop News, and we are out of here. Peace. Oh, what a